Terry Walker and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so excited for this video. You have no idea. So if you couldn't tell already by the title, which I don't know why you couldn't, I am going to be unboxing my new MacBook Pro. <laughs> I actually cannot believe it. So I actually have never, ever, ever owned a personal computer, ever. I've never had a laptop, no computer, anything. And so today I have finally gotten a computer. So before I jump into this video, I do want to say a very ginormous, huge, amazing, incredible thank you to my parents. This actually is a graduation gift that they got for me and I cannot express how thankful I am for this. I know that I am very, very fortunate and privileged for being able to get such a generous gift like this, but my parents just really wanted to stress how they're really proud of me and my twin brother for putting so much hard work into all of our years of high school as well as doing the IB diploma specifically, which if you haven't seen already, I did do a reactions video to my IB results. But yeah, so my parents, I am just so thankful for them and their generosity in giving me this gift. I know that not everyone is able to get things like this, so I do just want to recognize that I am so grateful and very fortunate, and I'm not in any way trying to make this video to rub it in anyone's faces or things like that. But I know that a lot of people, including myself, enjoy watching these kinds of unboxing videos, so I thought I would do that for you guys. And then also, I will be customizing it as well and trying to make it a little bit like pretty and everything so stay tuned for that as well and I guess we'll just jump right in so it came in the mail today and I can't wait I don't want to like move the box around too much because I don't want to like mess anything up <laughs> also yeah another reason why we got it is just because we kind of need computers for college especially given that things are going to be online now by the way I'm going to UVA but as of right now UVA is having everything in person but uh, knock on wood I have a feeling that things could maybe change I don't know but regardless it's just gonna be helpful to have a computer in college in general I think I'm just gonna like do the unboxing right here I don't know it's kind of an awkward angle but we're gonna work with it it'll be fine I'm so excited got some handy dandy scissors oh wait there's like a little tab here I can just like pull that. That's pretty cool. That was way too satisfying. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, there she is! Oh, wait. Okay. I'm extra excited for this because I have like laptop issues all the time on my dad's computer that I use for editing. So it is gonna be so incredible to have my own computer to edit on and just like not have to work around his work schedule and not have computer issues. I can't express how excited I am. Oh, it's heavy. <gasps> Look at her. What a beauty. I never thought this day would come. A day that I have my own laptop. I am so grateful. I can't even... I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, let's get this box out of here. Can we just admire how beautiful? <laughs> I love it so much already. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. That is so satisfying. Oh my gosh. I could do that all day. Oh, look at how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. It's just too beautiful. Okay, this needs like a full grand reveal. I don't think you guys are ready. I don't think I'm ready. <laughs> my gosh holy moly oh my goodness that is beautiful have you ever seen anything more beautiful i don't know if i have we have like instructions and information stuff which um i probably will never read gotta be gotta be honest the charging block and this cord Ooh, it's like new it's different i don't know if you guys can tell but like this is a little different but that's like really cool okay wow one of the differences between the air and the pro is that the pro is boxy like this whereas the air is like it like it's smaller i don't know if that makes sense but it's like more of an angled thing this is much bigger than the computer that i've been using my dad's laptop oh my goodness that is beautiful. 
so this is what I have been using. This is my dad's computer, and so this is the MacBook Air. I don't know what year it is, but you can see that it's like angled here. Just like look at the size difference. You can see that the Pro is just like much bigger. This is the 16 inch one, which I got just because I think it'll be nicer for like editing and everything, and just like personal preference. Wow. Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna move to my desk. Okay, you guys, I'm at my desk now, and oh man, I am so excited. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be satisfying. Whoa. This is huge. I can't wait to edit on this because it's just, oh, ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. To use English as the main language, press the return key. That's so cool. Whoa, this is crazy. This is different. It's like, this trackpad is so cool. It like clicks, but it's like not like a, it's like a, so satisfying. Okay, wait. So this was on the Air. Again, this is an older model though. You can hear the difference. This is like, it's like a full click. But then with this, it's like so much more like, I don't know. It's like a, I can't even describe it. I suck at this. Oh, the keyboard is so cool. And the touch bar. Holy crap. Does anyone read the terms and conditions? Like actually, comment down below if you actually read the terms and conditions. I don't. Hey Siri, hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of my day look like? Oh my gosh, there's also Touch ID, which I'm so excited for. That's gonna be so nice. Okay, that's so cool. Okay guys, don't hate me, but I'm gonna do light mode. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just, I like light mode better. Don't hate me, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's setting up. Ah, okay, so I have my laptop here. My laptop, that sounds so crazy to say. Oh, I can't believe I have my own laptop. I'm so grateful and just so thankful. Oh, okay, so I am gonna be doing some things to customize this laptop, my laptop. So I have a long list of things that I wanna do. I saw a video on like how to customize your laptop and everything, so I took notes on that and that's what I'm gonna be doing here. If you wanna check that video out, it was super, super helpful, so I will link that down below. It is by a girl named Julia and it just like, I'm ready to set up my computer for success because she really truly helped me out and now I know like exactly what to do to like make it beautiful. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, the things that I am going to be doing is basically just everything she went over in her video. So I'm gonna be making a collage slash background for the computer, probably customize like my Google background as well. I am going to work on the dock. I think that's what it's called where basically I'm gonna make it so you can like automatically like hide and show it really easily. I'm gonna customize the touch bar, make custom folders, change the accent colors maybe, hot corners, and then download the analog clock, and lastly get some sticky notes set up, which I think is just super easy. So we got a lot of stuff to do. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is the background. Again, I'm not gonna go through like all of the details of everything because if you wanna see that, then just go ahead and check out Julia's video because it explains it super well. So I'm gonna go to Canva. I've never used Canva before. Before, I don't think. And then I'm also looking up the MacBook Pro measurements. Lastly, I'm going to Pinterest. Okay, so I have Canva pulled up and it's the dimensions of the MacBook Pro, the 16 inch one, which I just looked up here. And then I have a bunch of pins here that I'm gonna go through and just kind of like rearrange onto Canva to see if I can come up with a background that I like. with my background. I don't know if I am set on this, but I'm gonna keep it for now and see how I like it. I might end up changing it, but I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Okay, ready? Moment of truth. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's kind of a lot. You know what, I might have to might have to change this at some point. Ooh, wow, this is a lot. Okay, for now we'll keep it. Maybe it's just I'm not used to it, I don't know, but for now I'll keep this. Moving on. Okay, so now I'm going to go back onto Pinterest so I can customize the Google screen here. I'm not sure what I want for it. Maybe something like light yellow. 
Okay, I'm gonna see how this one looks. I'm not too sure. Does it look weird? I don't know if I like that. Oh, this is kind of cute. You know what? I think I'll keep that for now. It's kind of busy though. I don't know. Maybe I'll mess around with it some more. It just looks very busy. Hmm. Let me actually look really quick again. I'm literally the most indecisive person ever. Let's see how I like this one. Is that better? Uh, I kind of like the other one better, but it's less busy. I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this for now because that, that's something. Okay, moving on, I'm going to do the dock. So system preferences, dock and then automatically hide and show the dock. Nice, that's all we gotta do. So now it's like not here and then bam, there it is. Gonna customize the touch bar. So system preferences and then keyboard I think it's under. Okay, so drag your favorite items to the bottom of the screen and add them to the touch bar. Drag items up from the touch bar to remove them. Whoa, okay, so like right now my mouse, I don't know if you can see, my mouse is like right here. And so like when I move it, you can see like it's right here, but when I go up, then I'm scrolling on here. So the mouse can go down onto the touch bar like this. So like right now, the touch bar has the brightness and then sound, mute, and then I think this is Siri. So I want screenshot because that'll be helpful with editing. I think I might just keep it at that. I think you can only have four at a time, right? Oh, wow. Okay, I think I'll just keep it at that. That seems good to me. So I'm going to do custom folders now. Go to Chrome. I think I want some stars. Put it on right here. Oh, I need to create a folder after we have the new folder. Get info. Let's see if it works. So. Mm -hmm. And nope, okay, that way it didn't work. So I gotta try the other way. So first I'm going to do this. Woo, that is large. I'm going to command A and then copy it. Come here and paste. Why is it not working? Let's maybe try a different star then. I'm struggling too much with this. Let me try making a new folder. Let's see. Hey, that didn't work. Why does it not work for me? What am I doing wrong? I feel like I might just be dumb, maybe. Ta-da! Wait, I think I did it! Oh my goodness. I don't know if I like that star, but that is what it's gonna be. Okay, I don't know which one I like better. The big black star or the smaller one that has like see that's like see-through in the middle. Here we go. This is where I'm what I'm doing. I don't know if I like this one better or this one. I feel like this one probably stands out more. I don't know. I feel like everything that I'm doing right now, I'm just like doing it as like a TBD kind of thing, and then I'll go back and like do more of it later, you know? I'm gonna keep these stars for now. And next I am going to do accent colors. So let me zoom on out of here. Okay, so accent colors. I'm gonna go here, general. Do I want pink or gray? I feel like this pink is pretty, but I don't know if it's like the same kind of pink that like matches my aesthetic. So maybe I should do gray. Oh my gosh, I'm so indecisive. What if I did yellow? Yellow kind of goes, but I don't know if I like yellow as much. Oh my gosh, I'm so indecisive. I think I'm gonna stick with gray for now. Now we're gonna do hot corners. Okay, so for hot corners, we go to system preferences, um, desktop and screen savers. Ah, hot corners, here we go. So I think I'm gonna do start screen saver. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the bottom one. Mod pad, what is that do? Ah. I like that, okay. Basically, hot corners are just like, you scroll your mouse over here and it like does the thing that you want. Oops, sorry, you can see the light reflection. Now that that's there, I am gonna do the analog clock. Okay, so that's just like the fancy fun clock. So we have to go to a certain website. I feel like I'm doing such a horrible job at explaining this, so I apologize. Also, this light is killing me. There we go, okay. So I'm going to go to this website right here. Download. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Now that I have that there, I'm going to double click on it. Saver. 
All right, I think it's gonna take a couple minutes to get that to fully show up. Okay guys, I'm so sorry. This whole video has not like been me explaining anything at all. I've just like been doing my own thing and kind of just being like, okay, here we go. So I apologize for that. But again, I am not giving a tutorial on this. If you wanna see a tutorial, go see Julia's video. So I think that'll show up in a bit. Oh no, it's right here. Okay, cool. So then I can click on it. I just, how do I get it? How do I get you? How do I, oh, is it already like here? If I go here? Oh my gosh, beautiful. It's 9.48 p.m. in case you were wondering. Okay, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and so last but not least, I'm going to get the sticky notes. I'm gonna go to launch pad. Ah, here it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I got this note here. I think I'll put it right about there. I'm gonna change the color to... Pink kind of blends in a little too much. Maybe yellow. We stick with the gray? I like the gray. Okay, we'll do gray and then... I'll just have like a running to-do list, I think, on here. And then increase that. Okay, I think that's, um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I'm just like really happy with it. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna keep playing around with it here and there, but for the most part, I think I'm pretty much good to go. I still can't edit yet on my computer because I need to get an adapter. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here real quick and let you know that this is the adapter that I ended up getting. This is what it has. It has seven different ports and I mostly like it just because it has the USB port as well as the SD card port for when I am uploading footage. And then there's also a micro SD card port, which is this small one right Right here which is for like a GoPro and stuff which I do have so whenever I use a GoPro which really is not often but when I do it still has that option to use that port anyway I'm about to go use it with my new computer and I'm really excited ah! Yeah, I just I love it so much and again I just wanted to say thank you so so much to both my mom and my dad because without them I obviously would not have this and also without them I wouldn't be who I am today and I just am so grateful for all that they've done for me and everything in between I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can see any of my future videos I love each and every one of you I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you